There's way less from their side now because I killed most of their good missile units, but they are still shooting at me. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. The children yearn for the mines, but unfortunately, Bretonia only has fields. There are some things that are not going tremendously. Like, I don't know, that could be a problem there. And this, definitely a problem there. And I could go for peace with Sartosa, but no, I'm going to wipe them out. I'm going to wipe out Sartosa, Ironbrow's Expedition, the Exiles of Corn, and the Bloody Hands. That is the real goal of this episode. We are stretching our economy a little thin, but not ridiculously so. And currently we have no growth still. We still have that. We will for 10 more turns. Please attack right away. Okay, that's fine as well, I guess. Yeah, these guys are now way too strong for me to deal with. So I'm very glad I'm allies with them. I gave them a couple settlements throughout the last episode. Volkmar's doing okay. Not very strong, and he is taking attrition in his own territory there. But I don't care that much about him. He is serving his purpose here. <laughs> and his purpose is to at least be a meat shield for me. Potentially kill something for me. Uh, they are gonna attack then. Can they do it in one Er, No, they're not. Well, that's good. I got replenishment then. Do you want peace now? You do want peace now. He has no strength, though. It's so tempting to go after him, but I just don't have the resources at the moment. I know he's going to declare war on me again. Let's see, how many is it? Ten turns, technically, but I, I don't think it'll be that long. Even if it is, I can just prepare my armies by then. And Scarbrand might honestly take me five turns to deal with, so... Oh, I hate that map. I really don't like that map at all. That's very bad for me. The Chaos Knights are certainly pretty good. As are the Blood Letters, but... Yeah, we'll see here, we'll see. I think we win this. This would be easier in a settlement, though. I mean, in the settlement, I would win this with no casualties. I just don't want to take a bunch of attrition and waste a bunch of turns here. Uh, fuck. I, ah, uh, eh. Ugh, disgusting terrain. Disgusting, horrible terrain. I hate it. Uh, but luckily we have these guys to die for us. We're gonna be wall camping, although not corner camping. The cavalry are going for flanks here, so I will be turning my trebuchets as well. The cavalry have 130 armor. Their main army does not have that much armor, so I really want to... Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot about these guys. Well, honestly, that's fine. They're knights. I can just let them die anyways. They were going to be pretty worthless in this battle, I think. We're going to go for that right there. That. This should be a pretty good line for my trebuchets right there. I'm firing. Uh, you guys definitely shoot in there. Once Scarbrand goes down, their leadership goes down. The rest of them will crumble a lot more easily, so it is worth hard targeting him. This is bad. The Bloodletters should not be able to get in there. They will demolish my archers if allowed to. That seems pretty effective. This also seems pretty effective. I really like the trebuchets here. They're doing a lot, a lot against those uh, cavalry. Uh, and Scarbrand is now dead. That is good. Get that melee defense up. Oh my god, I really like this. I really like the way this is going. I did not think this would go nearly this well. I thought we were going to be fucking demolished at the end of this, but we will not have taken that much damage. Oh, yeah, right as I go to the cinematic camera, they have dipped out. I mean, look at some of these clumps of cavalry. The trebuchets just shredded them here. They did get some friendly fire, I'm sure, but it was well worth it. Because these guys are very valuable. 130 armor and bronze shields. We could not have killed them without the trebuchets. Yeah, that's 363 losses on the main army. I probably could have used the garrison a little more aggressively, just tried to uh, put them even further at the front and all that, but I think I finished this off. And yeah, that's it. They should be wiped out now. Yeah, I'm going to give it one turn in here. All right, we're going to merge up some of these units. All right, and then we're going to be at full health, and then we just rushed them, and we absolutely destroyed them. Well, actually, you could reach him as well. Yeah, you could reinforce and I could just uh, auto-resolve this. Okay, I'll do that then. Uh, how many casualties? No units lost. That's fine then. Very annoying army to actually fight here. Way too many different types of units. This is really an army of, like, just reinforcing units. I'll start to move them up here. They'll be very useful after this battle that I'm about to do. Actually, no, I can't reach them. I thought I could. And we do actually have the capability of getting Blessed Field trebuchets now. I think I'll get some just to move up. They're not that much more expensive, but they are just so much better. I mean, look at this. Uh, magic attacks and 56 more missile strength, which is a lot. That's like a third more. Oh dear. Minus 176. That is probably a war then. Yes, that is indeed a war. Okay, we do have two armies here, but they're a bit hurt. Once again, camera just goes to a random location every time I get a war declared on me. And okay, he's at my settlement. <laughs> yeah, obviously this is unwinnable. I don't think I can wipe out even one of them here, but... If I manually fight this, they might drop the Doom Rocket on me. If I have all of my troops in a small area, the AI might just automatically use the Doom Rocket. 
I don't know if they will, but there's a possibility, and I'm willing to risk that. Come on, use the Doom Rocket. You know you want to do it. So many peasants in here. All the different units. Oh, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. There we go, baby. I genuinely was not sure if that would work. Look at that. The whole... Oh my god. I, I know the thing's in the middle here, but even still, you can just see the devastation. Oh, there's a couple that survived. Oh, a massive six peasants survived. That is incredible. I did not think that many would survive. So now they won't have any Doom Rockets, hopefully, at least, unless they get more, for the next confrontation with me. Interesting play. Interesting play. I do have two armies down by near where he's going, and another one here, and two more north. Uh, I'll start moving Rapunzel up, though, and see what they have in here. Okay, that's not a lot. Um, that is so little, in fact, that I might... No, I don't even need the Force March. I can just get there next turn. And down here, we have these blessed trebuchets. They're going to be coming up here. God, I hate... I fucking... I hate that. The path is so long that it takes here. Look on the right there, that faint line. Uh, the path is so long that the game lags trying to determine it. That is like a 50-plus turn fucking movement right there versus two. And the game defaults to going the long way around. Like, it, it needs to automatically go through the sea if it's over twice as long on land. That, that seems like a pretty obvious thing. I don't know if that's going to be implemented soon, but in my mind, that's just a clear thing that needs to change. If we get these guys, shit, we win that. We actually win that with this all-melee army. I could auto-resolve this. But this would be the goofiest battle of this whole campaign. These guys have no buffs. This lord is not very good yet. Rank 2. No equipment honor at all. So we're going to truly see who is more powerful. Minimally buffed goblins or minimally buffed peasants. The staunch line of spears? Not, not really staunch. They're just... They do have... Well, they're not even really spears either. They're kind of pitchforks. They're going to try their best though. They're going to do their best versus this. They do have real spears, but their spears are also really poorly made, so I think it evens out. Uh, genuinely, in terms of equipment, I think the Gobos win. <laughs> I think they do. They have worse shields, but I think they have better armor. These guys are just wearing clothes with some little bits of metal mixed in. Okay, and over here, yeah, you get on those trolls. These are my good anti-large unit. You two go for these archers. Wipe them out real quick once they're gone. We have options. Over here, that is a juicy clump right there. Let's see how much value we get from this. I mean, that's that's like 200. 200 plus. And yeah, these guys are just completely surrounding those goblins. Look at that. The hammer and anvil. Awakening of the wood right there. Probably enough friendly fire that it's not even worth it. The goblins are starting to break now. Oh, they're panicking. They're panicking. That is good. Come on, finish him off. Oh, they're running. They're running. They're running. And that's the army losses right there. Virtually no damage. A thousand gold value just from killing those trolls. That's crazy. We used all of our Winds of Magic and only got 800 value on our caster. We were mostly healing, though. I am impressed by the, the value of some of these units here. Not all of them. The Spearmen at Arms really were not very good. But they served their purpose. They held the line for long enough for us to get those good rear charges and break them. I'm proud of that one. I genuinely think that was about as efficiently as that battle could have uh, gone. Over here, we should be able to wipe out the Vampire Coasts right now. If I deal with them now, I don't have to deal with them ever again. Just because it's the last battle against Sartosa, I feel like I'll give this a manual fight. It would be a good auto resolve though. Oh my god, they're actually getting hit. Wow, that is quite impressive. The bombers I can handle with my archers, but the handguns, they have long range. Balance of power is going up. Please kill those mortars. Please, please just finish them off. They killed like two units of archers. Oh my god, the number of missiles here. It's just insane from both sides. There's way less from their side now because I killed most of their good missile units, but they are still shooting at me. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. And the mortars are gone. You guys can recharge them. And they, yeah, that's the army losses. That is the army losses right there. The mortars did get a lot of value, but everything else I shut down at least somewhat effectively. 28 kills from one peasant mob. That's crazy. I mean, they were fighting zombies, but still. I guess I'll occupy this. Hopefully, we wipe out Scarbrand next turn. We already dealt with one of four major threats. Yeah, faction destroyed. Pirates of Sartosa. Oh, he can go for that. Oh, shit, she's reinforcing. That's not good. 
he might still be able to wipe out this army, but I would rather keep this army alive. So I'm going to do the thing where I put my reinforcement location super far away. It, it worked before. She is in Force March, though. But I don't think she'll be wiped out if she doesn't even come onto the battlefield. Eh, five and a half minutes-ish. That's going to be long enough. I don't want to actually fight this fucking army. They are scary as hell. Come on. Come on, completely route or completely die. I... Oh, they chose to wait for them. Okay, well, maybe if I can see the feet now, it will save that army. I'm not sure. They still haven't come in. I Definitely the AI chose to wait for reinforcements here. I have nothing here. I have no forces, but I'm still in this battle, so I must have to wait for them. I would, I would rather risk this and risk completely losing them than also just guaranteed completely lose them. We do have some losses on here, even though they never came onto the battlefield, though. I did not think it worked like that. It might be because they were in Force March, and they have another army there. Okay. Oh, it did look like that Lord was killed in battle, and... Oh, yeah, they're completely wiped out there. That's very unfortunate. I did not know it worked like that. I mean, obviously, what I do is I just wipe out Wurzag here. I don't know why Wurzag in particular is just the worst at moving his armies. He just really likes getting wiped out by three armies at a time when in Force March. I hope that's a bad auto-resolve. I hope I can do better than that in a real fight. I don't know for sure if I can. Yeah, if we break them on one side, that's going to be very good. This side is... Oh, that's, this side is looking bad. Kill Wurzag. Please, do it. Kill him. Oh, shit. They're stopping my archers from firing, but a lot of them are taking a lot of damage here. Go right there. Fire right there. Fire right there. Uh, if Wurzag dies in the next couple seconds, I think they rout. I think they get the army losses when Wurzag dies. This guy has what, three health left and he's still fighting. Fucking 26 leadership, 3 HP. They're getting the army losses. They are. They're getting it. They're getting it. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. If that went on any longer, that would have been horrific. Oh shit. Wurzag's dead. That was incredibly fucking difficult. That was so bad. <laughs> Trebuchet shit show. Oh. That was painful. That was not efficient, but it was better. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm I'm not touching a goddamn thing. Don't you fucking dare. No! That was a hard one too. That was a really fucking hard 30 minute long battle that I barely won. I updated my drivers. Usually, that fixes it. That fixed it last time. Are you fucking kidding me? It even saved the replay. It even saved the replay, dude. Honestly? We took so much damage in the last one that I think we just fucking auto-resolve it. We can basically recruit two armies a turn, move them up here, and just have a conveyor belt. These guys are only like rank 3 at the best, so I, I'm just gonna do that. That's objectively just a worse decision, but I, I just I don't have it in me to fight that again. I don't think I need this guy. I don't think I need this. We're basically gonna be just conveyor belting new armies up. Like, I, I'm talking, we're going to be recruiting two, three armies a turn. Okay, these guys are in Force March. Uh, do I win this better in a real fight than I do in Auto Resolve? Okay, okay. The, on the front, they're almost all gone now. That's very good. Trebuchets are doing a great job against the Storm Vermin. Archers are doing a great job against everything else. And they're dying. They really are. And they were in Force March, so they are now dead. That is what I'm concerned about. Can we wipe these guys out this turn? It looks like we can. With the relatively unique situation of fighting against Korn, I am actually going to attack this, because I'm pretty confident that we just use our trebuchets to destroy their towers, and just shoot it over the walls and kill them. <laughs> I think it's that simple. Okay, good, good. Chaos Knight should trade pretty poorly there. The clump them up using repons and shoot them with the trebuchets technique is undefeated at this point. <laughs> Why are you- oh my god, I hate the way they fire like that at walls. It's so inefficient. Yeah, look at the way they're hugging the walls here. They're just staring at the wall. I can't fucking shoot them when they're just staring at the wall here. I, th I think they're just going to let me do this. They're just licking the inside of the walls, and that's the reason I couldn't win this uh, with just my ammo. Two out of our four main enemies have been wiped out now. Oh, victory is a strong word for that, but I mean, we didn't get wiped out. We didn't lose, so it's, it's fine. Good enough. Good. They're destroyed. Exiles of Corn completely gone. Completely gone. That is great. Uh, Death Gorge. Oh, I could give it to them. I, I want to make damn sure they don't declare War on me or anything, so I'm, I'm going to do that. Warzag is a gigantic threat. 
He's not a constant threat, but periodically is a really, really large threat. I want to make sure they occupy that settlement, take it from them. You. Welcome. Can you steal that? I've had to rely much more on diplomacy in this campaign than any of my previous ones. I don't mind that, though. I actually, I'm enjoying it. I think it's really fun. And it's a good practice for me, because I'm not generally someone who focuses on that aspect of the game. I just usually overwhelm everyone militarily. Yeah, Ikit Claw is just going to be leapfrogging my settlements here. I can't do shit about it. They're not full rushing me. It's really just Ikit who's rushing me. That is going to be good for me. Probably. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I feel like I want to move them all up together. If I move up three armies at once, that is going to overwhelm Ikit Claw guaranteed. Okay. Thank you, Ikit Claw, I think. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> That's looking good. Volkmar in his very high-powered wheelchair there. Like a monster truck for wheelchairs. <laughs> uh, okay, that could be a problem, but I have three armies ready to go there, so that's fine. Uh, I would wipe these guys out if they didn't have 12 settlements that are spread all around here. They'll be a real pain in the ass to wipe out all the way. I will, like, you know, get rid of their primary fighting force and take back some of their settlements, probably this area, but I'm not concerned with much more than that. And now he's he's just going back to where he just left. Volkmar moving up, going aggressive, even if he loses. Oh, he won. You're going to declare war on me because you're minus 192, but I don't see any world in which he ever manages to get to me. Oh, they're fucking force marching all the way around the edge of my territory, really? Oh, that's so annoying. I will need to build up more armies then. He is. I think he lost some units there from attrition. He might have formed some up or something, I don't know. Could attack this with two armies, but I don't believe two armies will be enough. I want to have at least three, and I will have three just next turn, so I have no reason to really go after him there. I don't know how strong they are. They're not strong at all. I'm fine force marching then. Yeah, you keep moving up with Volkmar. Can I get another... Well, I can. I can set another target for him. We're going to go with Ekrund then. Things are trending well. I think this is going to go pretty well from here on out. Yes, he's falling for it. Okay. I doubt I'm going to fight this unless it looks really... Oh, I... What the fuck? Why would he even attack that then? That's dumb as shit. <laughs> okay. Do I just want to auto-resolve that? I think I might. Uh, I fucking hate this style of map. I also just fought Wurzag on this one. And I had all sorts of bugs with that. Nah, fuck that. Uh, I'll just auto-resolve that. That's not perfect, but I can re-recruit those units in like one turn. Things are going well. Things are not going badly. You are going to attack that, but I think if you attack that without reinforcements, we would win. Maybe not. They have a lot of army abilities here. Honestly, yeah, about as well as would have happened in a real battle. I just, I had nothing there. Uh, I still can't do that without tanking my reliability, unfortunately. Yes! He's finally leaving. Now I have four armies that are going to be able to push up to Ikit Claw. Can we get there? I feel like we can get here. There we go. Okay, one less settlement for Wurzag. That's good. I guess we'll just occupy this and then sell it to the dwarves. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, no replenishment here. Oh, one troop replenished. That one troop replenished in a uh, unit with 120. So that's under 1%. Uh, oh, he's dead now. He's dumb, therefore he's dead. Just to shit on him too, I'm going to use all of my armies. Oh, wait, really? If I knew they were this damaged, I wouldn't have even bothered. All he needs to do is get close enough to reinforce me when I attack it. Okay, that's good. That's perfect then. That's perfect. Yeah, that's also very helpful. I like that. Thank you, Volkmar. Incredibly helpful ally this game. Oh, they have some peasants. They have some peasants. They got peasant mobs. Yes. <laughs> now, you are going to be attacking Ekrun. You should be reinforced, right? You won't be reinforced? Volkmar's right fucking there. Really? 20 wins of magic. They have 80. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't think I fight this without that reinforcement. No, fuck it. I I'm going to back off. I'm going to go into encamp stance. I'm going to get right to the edge. And then Volkmar is going to attack it. And I'm going to reinforce. I think. One more turn. Okay. I can deal with that really well with the trebuchets. I only have three though here. I would like more. And I would also like the blessed ones. But three is still enough to do some serious damage. We'll sit here and then we'll keep moving up. And then we'll have four armies there and just be unstoppable, at least by them. Yep, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that army's pretty serious. 
They are force marching though. Ooh, they might go for the reinforcement there if they're going to attack me. Okay. Why would you even attack that? That's such a shit battle for you. That's three armies that are decently leveled up, plus a pretty shit garrison, but still, that's four units lost if I auto-resolve. I have a 145 reinforcement time, but so did they. I can probably wipe out this first army before their reinforcements get on. Ooh, my reinforcement locations are pretty doo-doo, but theirs is even worse, because what I want to do is I want to rush this first army and get as far over here as possible, and then I can just have my reinforcements come in right near me, <laughs> all right? Yeah, 143. By the time these guys back here get in, we're going to be all the way over here and just swap sides of the battlefield. Honestly, that's fine. I'll just tank that. That's fine. I, I should have dodged that, actually. That's even more damage than I thought. Uh, help and abomination going down. The prize that's even still holding. Uh, you guys just are going to literally throw your lives away to slow them down marginally. Gotta keep moving up here as quickly as possible. We can't get stuck on the wrong side of the map. But they are using all of their summons here, like, quite genuinely all of them, to try and force that to happen. Okay, a lot of their units came up prematurely. For sure, shoot right there. That's gonna be massive. Uh, we're also gonna go for a Dwellers Below right here. It will do a little friendly fire, but that's honestly fine. You get out of there, please. This section's gonna be broken pretty much immediately by that Dwellers Below. You are gonna try to go back on those Warplock Jezails. These ones are way behind because they were shooting at my other units. Every one of you motherfucking archers has to shoot those Death Glow Bombardiers. Every single one of you archers. Every one of you. No excuses. Shoot them. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage, but now every single one of them is firing on them. Oh yeah, they're gone. They're not going to last very long there. Even if they had some major missile resist, they're still going down. Uh, we're going to hit one more Dwellers Below right here, because that's two more high-value units. Won't hit too many of my own units, except for the ones that are moving up there for some reason. Oh yeah, these guys came in. That's why. Shoot over here, and I think we don't even need that last cast. I think they are gone. We will leave this for... Well, we're not even going to leave this for a couple seconds. Fine, we'll just end this shit. Because they were in Force March, so they're dead. 25% damage across all of my armies. If that, please be wiped out. I think he's going to be wiped out, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Very good. Or, no, he's not wiped out? He was in Force March there, though. Why is this army not wiped out? Oh, he went through the underway there. Uh, okay. Okay, Volkmar's doing what I wanted him to do. Attack that whenever. I'll be right there. Uh, is that an easy 1v1? I think that's an easy 1v1. Uh, we'll auto-resolve that, though. Low casualties. I... I can reach Thoric. With this reinforcing army, this should be trivial. How is this army not reinforcing me? Well, shit, I can probably beat it without them. Oh, it might just not show it because I'm not at war with them yet. Well, the good thing is from here, he can't reach this in one turn, so I may as well start moving back. Oh, he is at war with them. And now he's in range of this army, and this army will beat his ass! Okay, well, that's that's actually really good. I didn't even know I was doing that. That was unintentional. But this army is now going to wipe out Thoric for me, most likely. Come on, beat his ass! Get him! Why are you force marching? Why are you going there? What the fuck was that? And over... Okay, well, that's cool. Go somewhere else that isn't my problem. Ah, that is my problem. Even if Thoric decides to come back, it'll take him, like, at least two turns to get back here. Three to attack us, so we're fine. This army is pretty doo-doo. These are a lot of Chaos Warhounds, and they are gonna attack that. Oh, you do auto-resolve that, but I don't think you really win that, because this army comp is dog shit here. They're all very prone to being shot. That's the only thing that all of these units have in common, is that they're very prone to being shot specifically by my archers, because they're low armor, no shields, no missile resist, for the most part. Um, this whole formation is going to move back against this wall, and then we should be pretty comfortable. Okay, and hopefully this is going to be enough damage dealers on each side. This should be pretty valuable against those Warhounds. And once these chariots fuck off, we can move these units back into the front here. There we go, you fired there. Okay, now the sides are both dealt with. We're going to be removing these guys here. There we go, the Blessed Trebuchet is putting in work. All sorts of different units here, but they're all getting shot down regardless. And over here as well, these Chaos Spawn I'm going to target manually because killing them will get the army losses a little faster. Uh, because they are unbreakable. They're a good priority target there. Over here we're taking a lot of damage. Trebuchets are missing a little more. I'm going to see if I can retarget that. And yes, that is the army losses. I uh, would like to wipe out the Forsaken. Their lord's dead. Wish I killed their hero as well. Eh, yeah, that's that's not bad. Ah! It is finally time to wipe out Wurzag. 
I feel like we've had enough interesting battles against Warzag that we don't need another, especially when this one would be just absolutely trivial. So we will go for that auto resolve. Great. They are now dead. So that is three for four. Only the dwarves. The wasteland has been tamed. Just absolutely horrific territory that I never need to step foot in again. Yeah, he's going to go for one of these settlements. I can't do shit about that, but I do have an army going up there to eventually deal with that. This army now, I'm confident, will be able to take out this settlement. And Raponce can stomp Thoric once again. We're going to be in a much better position overall if we move up here, I think. I, I think it's worth the attrition. It is quite a bit, but now I will have to manually fight this, I'd imagine. But they don't have a, any reinforcements here, so we should be good. And that's the army losses right there. There we go. Nice! So now they're down to two settlements, including the one they stole from me recently. What are you doing, Thoric? You're taking that. How predictable. Honestly, let's just fucking see. Let's see if we can do this. I think we might be able to. We will have this lord here with these two units that I can now recruit. So may as well grab them. 20 wins of magic. That is very unfortunate, but that's probably from Thoric. Fortunately, we have a monopoly on artillery in this battle. The biggest concern is for sure their quarrelers. Yeah, absolutely. Send that one unit of giant slayers up to die my archers. That's that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay, their archers, or their quarrelers rather, are flanking really hard. I don't know why. Thoric, what, what what are you doing there, bud? You're just ready to die once more. Okay, that's great. Okay, their quarrelers are now shooting at our archers. Yeah, we just can't deal with the quarrelers, really. They have too much armor. Our archers can't deal with them. Yeah, our, our archers are all gone. Our archers are all gone. That's very unfortunate. We just, we don't have a way to kill the quarrelers yet. Rapunz can try to kill the quarrelers. And you should be able to kill Thoric. Keep firing those trebuchets, and yeah, our main lines are crumbling. A lot of us are going down here. Just run off the battlefield, Thorak, you're so slow! And she's just not hitting him. Yeah, and they're gonna get the army losses here soon. And that is it, that is the army losses. Look at those losses, but we won it still. Hopefully didn't lose too many units. Thorak is now wiped the fuck out. I mean, the rest of them, virtually nothing, but the fucking quarrelers. They killed our archers, they killed our trebuchets. 2,000 value on those ones. Definitely we can kill these guys though easily. Are you serious? Why? Quite a few arrows here. Quite a few arrows. How is he still alive after even that one volley? Look at this. How have you not killed him? 35% missile resistance and 168 armor. That's how you haven't killed him then. You're doing one damage per shot, I'm sure. And he's dead. And he exploded right as he died. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to see if I can reach him here. It says 0%, but it looks like I can get to him. Oh yeah, I can just barely get to him. Awesome, that'll make it much easier. I'll just auto-resolve this then. Low casualty should... Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Honestly, I think the dwarves, as factions go, are probably the most difficult matchup for peasants. It's either high elves or dwarves, I think. Because they both have, like, ranged superiority. Although in different ways. Why don't we auto-resolve this? This is this is an easy battle right here. And we have the victory tickets. Not bad. Okay, and now we have just one last battle here to finish off this whole campaign. Um, that's a pretty bad auto-resolve considering that they only have six units and one shitty lord. Definitely target the blasting charges. Oh shit. Ugh. Not too much damage, actually. They only have, like, yeah, 50 models, half a unit. There we go. Decisive victory to end off the campaign. Although that one was not impressive. This campaign was hard. It was definitely fun. I have never really respected armor-piercing damage as much as I do now. Obviously, you know armor-piercing damage is good, but when you're going against multiple factions of dwarves and you only have one armor-piercing unit available to you, that really puts shit into perspective. <laughs> this is definitely the most, I don't want to say strategy focused, but diplomacy focused campaign I've done. Because I needed my allies here. This is the first campaign that I could not have won if I didn't have any like military alliances or non-aggression pacts or any friends. A every previous campaign it's like, yeah, maybe I could just kill everyone and just hope that people don't declare war on me too fast. But this one, no. <laughs> The peasants have proven their worth, and the proletariat may rise once more. That'll be all for this campaign. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'll be making a lot like it in the future, so you might want to subscribe. Uh, that's all.